Mitch Tram here. Today we're going to try to demystify the braking systems on bait casting reels. It's pretty simple, but it's a little overwhelming when you're in the store looking at these trying to decide, you know, what you want and, you know, what's the difference, right? If you've been fishing a long time, you've probably figured it out, but some people haven't. And I just want to kind of take a few moments to talk through that. So you have a magnetic brake, which you can see by the dial right there in the numbers. You have a centrifugal brake, or what they call a pin brake, which you can see right here. You have to pull off the side panel to get to one of these. And then all reels will also have this kind of brake right here, which is a brake and isn't a brake. It is the spool tensioning knob. So if you think about an old reel, like this Ambassador 5000 or 5500, and it's not necessarily an old reel, but a um, older style of reel. It's a round bait casting reel. Um, and these only have this spool tensioning knob. So the spool tensioning knob is very important even when you have one of these other types of brakes. And here's what you do with the spool tensioning knob. The spool tensioning knob slows the bait down, right? So the brakes, what they do for you is during the first part of the cast, they slow the spool in order for you not to have an overrun. So the spool is not spinning faster than the bait is flying. The spool tensioning knob slows the spool down at the end of the cast. So what you do is you tighten this knob until, and I have a little bit of a leader on here, a little tangle, hang on a second. There we go. So when you push in to release your spool, your bait should just barely fall. So I need to tighten this up just a touch. And you just keep doing that until your bait falls at a very slow rate. There we go. So what that does for you with your bait falling at that slow rate like that, that keeps your spool from overrunning or backlashing at the end part of the cast. So it's just as important to set that as it is to set the centrifugal brake, pin brake, or your magnetic brake. These manage the spool at the beginning of the cast. If you don't have one of those brakes, then you have to ride your thumb on the spool the whole time during the cast just very, very lightly. So these reels that only have a spool tensioning knob, you have to have a little bit more skill to cast these. This is what I started out using when I was about 10 or 12 years old. Um, but if you throw this reel and don't ride your thumb very, very lightly on the line, then you're gonna get an overrun or a backlash very quickly. So a little bit more skill required for this. The magnetic brake, the way this works is there are a set of magnets that move closer and further away from the spool. So at zero, they're as far away from the spool as they can be. At 10, they're as close to the spool as they can be. The closer they are to the spool, the more braking force that is applied. Reels with a magnetic brake, in my opinion, are much easier to cast than those without any type of brake other than a spool tensioner. And once again, remember, you still have to use your spool tensioner even if you have a magnetic or a pin brake or a centri centrifugal, br centrifugal brake. Um, the way the centrifugal brake works is it has numbers on it right here as well, and you just dial that brake in. The higher the number, the more pins are applied to the spool, or you kind of think of like brake pads. Um, so the more braking that is applied. So the brakes, remember, this brake right here, the centrifugal or pin brake, and the magnetic brake manage the spool during the first part of the cast. So with these type of reels, you can cast them out and not have your finger on the spool 
until the bait is about to hit the water and then you want to gently put your finger right on the spool um, because you're still likely going to get a backlash if you don't use your finger at all even setting the spool tensioning and the brake um, you just have a lot more latitude with a reel that has a brake and a spool tensioner than a reel with only a spool tensioner um, and you know just my opinion I prefer the pin brake or the centrifugal brake over the magnetic brake and that's just a personal opinion you can try them yourselves to me um, I feel like I get a better braking with this reel I can almost not touch the spool and not get a backlash so I don't have to think about it um, so it's you know just my preference um, so that's a little bit about the the braking systems on your bait casting reels uh, feel free to add comments ask questions I'll do my best to answer them um, and you know subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be putting videos up all the time and I'm just kind of a regular guy like you I been fishing my entire life learned all of this on my own and just trying to pass a little bit of information along have some discussion so subscribe all right guys take it easy